Derry City claimed their first point of the season last Friday night with that draw against Finn Harps. Tonight they took on Bohemians who had moved into third place in the table after their 2-0 win over Sligo on Monday. Well, Derry City came closest to taking a first half lead at the Ryan McBride Brandywell. Stephen McGuinness getting down well to save Stephen Mallon's free kick. Well, just nine minutes into the second half and Bohemians thought they had taken the lead. Keith Ward reacted quickest to the bouncing ball, but Danny Lepano showed some acrobatics to clear the ball off the line and that kept it scoreless. Well, Derry eventually took the lead in the 64th minute and what a goal it was. Stephen Mallon doing all the hard work and he went on to score the opener on what was his Derry City home debut. Well, the Candy Stripes made it a 2-0 and the goal was scored in injury time. Having soaked up some pressure, they broke the length of the pitch with Little feeding Figuera, and he finished in style over McGuinness. 2-0, the final score at the Ryan McBride Brandywell, all three points to Derry City. Well, John, Derry City, they were unconvincing in many ways last weekend against Finn Harps. They needed to get a home win, didn't they, to get the Brandywell crowd on their side and to really get their season up and running. Absolutely, and, and Declan has changed the team around this year. He's brought in a lot of new players and uh, just trying to get them to gel. And last week against Finn Harp, they didn't play well. They were lucky to get to, to draw in the end. But tonight was a big win for them because mm -hmm. Bohemians were doing really yeah, well. Yeah. So, um, and it lifted the Brandywell. And obviously Declan now will be hoping that that will kickstart them and because they have brought in a couple of forward players. Um, the lad from... We got the, la the goal there from Waterford for Figueroa, yeah. you know. So and that little a new striker brought in. So they've missed the lads who've, got, who've, le who've left Parkhouse and, and Junior. So hopefully these guys will get them the goal to, to push them up.